Hey everyone, offering up some quick thoughts on the Battleground pay-per-view, and I guess pay-per-view is still an appropriate term, I'm not sure uh, if the WWE is still using that with the network going on, uh, but for sake of argument, we'll call it pay-per-view. Uh, on paper, this to me looks like a really, uh, it looks to be an impressive show, it really has the potential to be uh, an impressive show, great matches, and it really needs to be an impressive show as we are heading into SummerSlam, one of the big four pay-per-views for WWE, and they really want to have uh, something solid leading us into that next month and for the next uh, three or four weeks on Raw and SmackDown and Main Event to carry that momentum into SummerSlam. Uh, I think that John Cena is going to retain the world, uh, the WWE World Heavyweight Championship in the Fatal 4-Way. Uh, Roman Reigns is red hot right now, but I, I, I think that his payoff is going to come down the road. I think the smart choice would be to go with Cena. Uh, there are talk, there are rumors that he and Brock Lesnar will then uh, face off at SummerSlam. I would look for Lesnar to make some sort of appearance. I don't know if he will uh, inadvertently or in some way help Cena continue uh, to go on as champion, but I do think that John Cena, Brock Lesnar is your money match for uh, SummerSlam at this point, especially if they're going to uh, you know, let this story carry on and take us into WrestleMania where a lot of times we see that big payoff finally happen and I think this year or in, in 2015 it'll be Roman Reigns' turn to have that carry out or that uh, that big payoff. Uh, the Battle Royal for the Intercontinental Championship again ha have seen and heard some things that uh, they're talking about uh, merging the U.S. and Intercontinental Championships. If they're going that route then Sheamus would have to be your winner. Uh, I don't necessarily want it to go that way. Uh, I do think it's going to be a face that wins, though, because they've said Wade Barrett is going, or Bad News Barrett is going to present the new champion uh, with the title. Uh, my pick, my personal favorite, my choice would be Dolph Ziggler. Uh, underutilized, I've talked about it countless times, but uh, you know that's my opinion, and I think that he would make a, a great Intercontinental Champion. Divas title, AJ Lee will retain over Paige. I don't see any reason to swap the title again. I do believe that the Usos' time is up. They will lose the Tag Team Championships to the Wyatt family, uh, and I, I hope that they don't go the route where we break up a tag team because we've lost the titles. Uh, the Usos add some stability to a uh, finally momentum-gaining tag team division, in my opinion. Dean Ambrose and uh, Seth Rollins, this will be a great match, match of the night, probably, uh, most likely at least, and I do think that uh, Rollins will somehow uh, uh, win this one. Uh, I think he needs that momentum, having that Money in the Bank briefcase. I don't like the way that some past Money in the Bank winners have been treated, uh, so hopefully he will carry on. Uh, and I, Dean Ambrose, a f big star in my eyes in the future, and I, I see him, I see all the S.H.I.E.L.D. members eventually becoming the World Heavyweight Champion. I think that Bray Wyatt will lose to Chris Jericho, only to set up for a SummerSlam match where he will win big, Bray Wyatt that is, but I think Chris Jericho will eventually uh, do the honors and, and put Bray Wyatt over, but uh, he's going to get some revenge from the couple of beatdowns that he has taken at the hands of the Wyatt family. I think, oh, Jack Swagger and Rusev, I blogged about it earlier this week. I don't necessarily think Swagger right now is that guy to end Rusev's impressive uh, streak. Uh, no offense to Jack Swagger, but his last big feud, if you will, against Adam Rose, he lost pretty quickly in those matches. So I think, uh, you know, I understand the, the, the turn and whatnot, but I don't necessarily think or want Jack Swagger to be the guy to end Rusev's streak. I've been impressed with Rusev. We'll see what's going to happen with the world events going on now, what happens with Rusev in the future, uh, whether or not he will carry on and continue on or be repackaged. Uh, and then Cameron versus Naomi in the opener. Uh, I look for Cameron to win that one over her former Funkadactyls partner. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and share this video. Thanks for supporting my 123 cents.